Hey what's up Halo fans welcome back to another Halo video and in today's video is a special video. C43 announced that Halo Infinite will be released in December the 8th this year. I'm a little surprised that they never actually aimed for November the 15th the release because that's basically Halo's uh you know 20th anniversary uh, but either way I'm very very happy with the release date and they've also shown off a new multiplayer trailer this is the first season one trailer that 343 have shown off and I have to say it looks amazing uh, the CGI I mean I think this is all in game engine actually uh, and it's absolutely breathtaking uh, so the first shot we see here in the trailer is the uh, phantom approaching by in Mabaza city uh, this uh, cutscene really reminds me of the Halo 3 ADSC uh, trailer uh, cutscene uh, as you can see here in this footage uh, where you can see the Phantom using the beam lights and you know searching for survivors. Uh, I was getting a lot of uh, ODST vibes from this part uh, and it's almost the same thing you know happening here in Halo Infinite. Now this is awesome uh, one thing I want to mention you can see the London Tower I'm not even kidding I was like when I saw this I was like oh my god this is this is unreal like like Big Ben in Halo Infinite who, who would have thought? Absolutely satisfying right? I'm really happy they did that proud to be British. <laughs> so, the, so the next shot we see here is the character, I don't really know her name but it's the same character that we saw in, in the trailers previously and this is her as a teenage uh, kid. Uh, she must be very young here by the looks of it. Uh, I don't know where this takes place, I don't know what timeline uh, but it definitely takes place, I think it takes place uh, before Halo 4 I believe uh, but what bothers me about this trailer that the brutes are holding the Pulse Carbine uh, which is a new weapon in Halo Infinite right? So I don't get why there are new updated weapon models, like uh, like new weapons, uh, even the Brute's Armor. The Brute's Armors are new too. Uh, we haven't seen those armors before. Uh, are we not supposed to, to see the Halo 2 or Halo 3 Brute's Art style or something? So moving forward, you can see this uh, this girl is running uh, for her life alone in Mabaz City hiding while the Brute's are, you know, searching for any survivors that are remaining. Uh, so this girl comes across, you know, with a tank and then quickly hides behind it. So this shot is my favorite. You see the drop pods coming down. Uh, so she sees uh, one of the Spartans coming out the drop pod and, and and then this Spartan gives a good nod at her saying hey what's up <laughs> which I find pretty cool and funny and then quickly uh, covers uh, the girl by getting behind her while the boots are you know firing and and man do those shield effects you know look so dope. Uh, this scene reminds me of the Termin Terminator 2 scene where the T-800 gets behind John and while the bad guy was shooting at the Terminator uh, which is an awesome reference and then the next shot here we see the Spartan offers her help by giving uh, his hand to her uh, which again it kind of reminds me of the Terminator movies where you hear that iconic line come with me if you want to live <laughs> sort of thing which is awesome uh, except that he doesn't obviously say it. So yeah once all the Spartans uh, fin you know, finish killing all the brutes uh, you then see them all walking along and uh, man do those Spartans look very massive compared to the uh, girl but then again she's just a kid in this uh, scene and uh, not really f uh, fully grown yet. Uh, she then looks at her necklace and I believe one of the Spartans must have gave her that as a gift to keep. Uh, in this uh, uh, next scene we have her uh, as a grown-up uh, this time. Uh, here she pulls like a happy sad face at the same time uh, because she was thinking about you know her childhood and what she has been through and everyone she has she lost and you know during the war and then in the end she smiles you know where she is like yeah you know what I made it through I found my home I found my purpose I'm a Spartan. Uh, man I really love that that character detail that Theophilty has added. Uh, I'm really interested in her character already I can imagine of her getting her own spin-off game. Just imagine all of us playing as her as a teenager kid right as a teenager and uh, that lives in London in Mombasa right like there's so much potential that T43 could do with this character I'm really looking forward to know what uh, her backstory is. Okay guys I think that's all I have to say in today's video it's a pretty short video that I made uh, I just wanted to get to the point I'm really impressed on what T43 has uh, revealed uh, if you guys don't know already Halo Infinite is available to pre-order on the Xbox store and the Steam store right now I've already pre-ordered my game you know through Steam uh, I just gotta wait for the game to release now uh, we only have four months to go not long left uh, what's the relief for me for this event you know for Gamescom that T43 never you know came you know came out and said that there will be other futures will be delayed you know. Uh, so far the only thing they announced that uh, you know like Forge and Pop campaign uh, won't be at launch. Those are the only two big features that are delayed. Uh, hopefully it stays that way it doesn't get any worse. Uh, but anyways I'm gonna stop the video here now. Uh, be sure to uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow us on Twitch. We literally stream Halo there every day on Twitch and I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.